Hey everybody, it's October 24th, which means it's the 24th day of my 90 day challenge that I have given myself. I'm going live for the rest of the year. So today I have Tammy Rudisil and she is in, um, where did I say? Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And she is also one of our DIY paint retailers. And hi Tammy, I see that you're here as well. Um, we're gonna give a few more minutes before I pull her up today. She is um, business-wise known as Elizabeth's at Haynes Park. So we wanna make sure we give her lots of love. Hello, Cheryl. Hi there, Leslie. And um, we wanna give her lots of hearts and likes. So if you pop on, say hello. It's Wednesday, hi, Karen. And she's working on a project that looked, we did like a little run through here just a minute. So you're gonna to wanna to hang on and watch this. She's got some super pretty things sitting all around her. So I'm gonna let her brag and show off here in just a few minutes. Um, again, it's um, Tammy Rudisil and she's one of our DIY retailers. I had the honor of meeting her back in September when we were at boot camp, And she had literally taken her toolbox with all of her paint supplies and she had finger painted some flowers on it. So she was like, look what I did. And I took a picture of her showing off her toolbox with paint, hand painted flowers. Is that her? Huh? Mm. Hi Q. Hello you guys. Again, it is day 24 and um, of my 90 day challenge. So that should be real fun, right? I'm working on a painting here. This is the backdrop I'm getting ready to start hand painting some flowers on that one. This is one I was working on yesterday and it actually sold yesterday. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Carmelina. So welcome, let's pull up Miss Tammy and um, I want you guys to see what she's working on. I promise you, you're really gonna like what I, what I just saw. Not that you're counting or anything, right? Yes, Q, did you miss that announcement? So I thought, you know, I was doing 30 days and I thought, you know, I've scheduled all the way through October. I, I think I kind of want to go into November. And then Matt and I were talking, it was like, you've got to be kidding me, I'll just go through the rest of the year. So I told him if he was going to do that and encourage me to do so, that he is required to join me on several lives here and there. So um, he agreed to that and so, I'm going to go live every day for the rest of the year. I'm taking off Thanksgiving and Christmas, but that's still 90 days. Okay, because there's, there were 92 days from October 1st through the rest of the year, so I get two days to not go live. Uh, yep, yep. All right, so let's see what Miss Tammy's doing. Thanks, you guys. Start tapping that like button and um, give her a like and a share. Her work is so beautiful. You're gonna, you're, you're getting ready to see what I mean. All right, Tammy, I'm sending you a message. There's Rebecca with her hearts. Thank you, honey. Thank you, honey. Okay, is there a go? 
Okay, Tammy, Tammy, while you put your volume there, all the way down. I can't hear a word. I can't hear a word. I know, Jerry, honey, we're trying to figure it out. Okay, now try to talk, Tammy. Okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear you a little bit. Yeah. A little bit? Is that better? Are we there? Yeah, it's way better. Is that better? Yes. Now let me turn my volume up. I turned mine all the way down as well. Okay. Okay. Can anybody hear me? Is it better? Yes, you are way better, and I can actually hear you. Okay. Good. So I need the feedback from all of you guys. Now, tell us how we sound. And say nice mm -hmm. words. Don't say anything <laughs> ugly or you're going to have to be. Get out of here. I don't know what fixed it, guys. It's a volume issue. Um, sh I turned my volume all the way down and then back up. And I did the same. Yeah. You did the exact same thing? You're mm -hmm. thing on her phone. She's too loud because it's coming. Hang on, out. Matt's trying to help me. It's coming. So you sound like you have tech the, support. Coming out the earpiece and then coming right back through the microphone and projecting your voice. It's picking you up because it's too loud on her. Well, that never has happened. That's so weird. Okay, the only thing, I don't know, but he says it's like it's picking up and coming right back into the phone, which it's never done that before. So it's like my voice. Will you bring the? No, come back up here. You want me to come back up there? Yeah. All right. I wonder if you had to, if you wore um, like earbuds, if you would have a, if it would be better. I probably could try that. I don't know how to make that work. You guys don't laugh at me, but I'm not a headphones person. And I don't know how to make headphones work when I'm live. When I'm live. Well, I just, if you continue to have that problem. Well. I'm curious as to why it happens with some people and not everybody. I don't know. Right? Okay, so right. we're back out here where we were. You guys that have hung through that, I um, appreciate you so much. Thank you. And um, I'm going to set this back in here now and see if everything stays the same. So, guys, this is Tammy. And she's hey. awesome. She's a beautiful artist. You can look around her and see all of those beautiful paintings. Um... She also works on furniture. She also, I believe, has a special surprise for us coming up. So, um, yes. Tammy, introduce yourself. Tell us where you are, a little about what you do, and just a little bit about yourself, please. Okay, so I am Tammy Rudisil, and I own Elizabeth's at Haynes Park. Um, it's a large store, and I have a whole group of creative people in there with me. We all have a large, I call it our collection of creativity. Wonderful. Um, so I have several, I don't like to call them vendors. I like to say that, you know, we're all just one big team, but everybody has their own style. They all bring something different, you know, mm -hmm. to the shop. So it's a nice, nice blend. I also um, do design work. I'm an interior designer. Okay. So I do that and um, I paint and um, do anything creative. <laughs> okay. So when you say um, at, it's Elizabeth's at Haynes Park. Is that the name of the store? That is. That is the name of the store, yes. And I do own it. Um, within that, I have my own um, my own brand, which is Tammy Rudisil Studio, which is where I have my art and things like that. So I merchandise the whole store, and then I have my own little brand within that store. Okay, and how and long have you had this store? I've had this store for eight years. I originally bought it with a partner um, eight years ago, and it has evolved a lot over time. Two years ago, I bought out my partner and started to have this vision of having this, you know, collection of creativity in one spot. So um, I started to become a DIY retailer about a year and a half ago. And that's when I really started to see how I could create that. You know, there was a lot of creative people that i we're giving great information. The retailers group is so forthcoming with information. Everybody wants to share. Um, I've learned a lot from everybody and just kind of took all of that and created this. It's still growing, still evolving, um, creative collection. Wonderful. 
I love that so much. Um, I just, I keep seeing that vivid color right next to your face on that painting. This one? Yes. It, okay. It reminds me of the, of the buffet that I just did and posted yesterday. Right. Well, pink is my thing. I love anything that has pink in it. And every time I try to do a painting and I say, I'm not going to use any pink, I'm not going to use any magenta, I always am like, it's missing something. It needs pink. It needs your pink, <laughs> girl. Absolutely. Yeah. So I had the pleasure of meeting Tammy at boot camp just last month. Um, it's been over a month, but it seems, I don't know, it's just flown by. I'm like, oh, it was over a month ago. Yeah. Dang, girl. So what did you come away with? Like, how were you feeling other than tired when you got home? And what was the first thing that you implemented that you learned at boot camp? Well, the first thing that I implemented, and I've learned a lot from, I mean, everybody, not just um, the instructors, but other retailers that were there. I mean, I really enjoyed what everybody had to share. But um, the very first thing I did was I created a YouTube channel, which was like way out of my comfort zone, because this is like only my fourth ever live. Do you remember when you did your fourth live? You still have butterflies. Oh, and... I still had butterflies a year later. <laughs> Well, so I decided to try this YouTube channel because at boot camp, um, I painted a lot of pumpkin, um, pumpkin pillows, pumpkin. That was kind of our theme. Yes, um, our did. team decided we wanted to do that. So everybody loved these pumpkins and they kept saying, will you show us how to do this? So I created this YouTube channel and the first thing I taught was how to paint the perfect pumpkin. Well, it was so much fun because every day people were showing me their pumpkins that they were painting. It was like every morning when I woke up and opened up my news feed, it was like all these happy pumpkins. It was, I loved it, loved it. So I've created another one since then and I will keep on working on that. But yeah, so that was one of the biggest things I probably did since boot camp, but also working on creating um, a brand and um, photo editing. You taught me a great tips on photo editing. And yeah, I, I mean, there was so much. I have a, that notebook that I filled up and I thought I'm going to go home and I'm going to do a page a day. All that I learned, I think I've only gotten to three pages, but you know, yeah, awesome. I have you. But that's okay. That's okay. That's and so you became kind of the pumpkin lady because when I you know, started so painting, funny yes, you're the pumpkin lady. When you started painting those pumpkins, everybody was like, where did that come from? Where did that come from? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did you see that pump? No, not that one. This one. And so yeah. everybody, I mean, your booth turned out wonderful on the day of the market day because um, you were staging with all of your beautiful pumpkins and um, you kind of, like I said, became the pumpkin lady. I'm so proud you started a YouTube yeah. channel, girl. Oh yeah. We had, we had everybody. We have a, you know, it was a team of six of us, the damsels and everybody brought pumpkin something. So we were very fall pumpkin out and it looked, it looked, came together. Perfect. Yeah. And you made some friendships, didn't you? I did. Yes, absolutely. That was, I mean, you know, you do this if for anybody who doesn't know boot camp, you go in September, but you spend months and months ahead building, you know, your team and communication yeah. and, um, so when we got there, it was almost like I was so excited to meet everybody and actually just hug them and, you know, wrap my arms around their neck because you talk and you build up all these friendships and you just, it's, it's, it's amazing. It yes. Really yes. And like yeah. Melissa Scott just popped on here too. And I'm certain oh, she feels the same way too. And so, um, I remember thinking, and I even said it out loud, um, on that last night, it's like what I realized the first first boot camp that I went to is I didn't know I needed you all until I got you. Yes. I didn't That's, know I was missing it, it until right. I came home and went, I didn't know I needed them until I have them now. Like I have them in my tribe and I didn't know that I was missing anything. But now that yeah. you're here, and I know I said that um, to all of you because the second boot camp, my tribe doubled. I mean, I have you know, twice as many people in the DIY group that I personally met and personally spent time with. Um, and coming home was such a good feeling to know that I have the support and that I am able to support all of you as well. Agreed. I absolutely agree that, you know, not just my team, but um, everybody that you meet there, you just feel like you have this connection when you see each other. When I see somebody pop on when they're watching you, I was like, oh, Kara, or, you know, whoever it is. And you, so you, you almost feel like, you know, you want to continue to communicate with them and yes. keep in touch. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I'm the same way. So um, 
you came home, you started your channel, you still mm -hmm. paint pumpkins, absolutely, because it's pumpkin season, but you are also throwing out some serious, serious florals that I'm stopping in my feed because they have that brilliant magenta and fuchsia color going on in them. Um, but show us a little bit else of what you're working on. Um, I know they're dying to see. Okay, so um, these are, I, I am a mixed media artist, so anything goes. I use whatever I can. And I actually am getting ready. I am going into a gallery. So that's kind of big. Congratulations, I Tammy. I know, I know. Um, it's, we have a great arts district down here, and um, I'm, part, I'm going to be part of a wellness collective where I'm going to do some art. I say art therapy, but I'm not actually an art therapist, but it's um, part of a holistic approach, like a whole wellness approach. It's art and meditation and yoga, and it's just, you know, really good stuff. I love so, it. I love it. Yeah. So these pieces I've been working on to get ready for um, that that opening. So the, and these are some of these might just be practice. I don't know. They get, some of them turn out, and I'm like, oh, I love them. Other times I might cut them up and turn them into something else. Well, from here so, they look absolutely beautiful. I oh, love that, the drips that you've got going on in there. Oh yeah. And I think we shared something really personal at boot camp, did we? I think we did. Saliva. <laughs> Saliva. <laughs> later like well you're drinking my water I'm about to auction this off and I'm like I stole your water what an idiot but yeah that it was, was so hot I don't think there, I couldn't drink enough water that, that <laughs> oh my gosh it was so hot there. it was so yes. hot so what are you yeah. working on there to your other side so this is um a piece of art that I've been working on for a while so I paint um in a very intuitive style so sometimes it, I'll have to wait for a, a piece will have to sit for a little bit and I might work on it a little, put it down. And there's been times where I've had a piece sitting here. And now that I think I shared with you, my studio is downstairs and where I walk by it every day. I might say, oh, I need to add a little bit of this or that. So it might be a couple months before this is done. Or one day I might just finish the whole thing. So I love it. Um, so this is a piece that I'm working on um, now. And then this one has been up here um, on the wall for a while and that same thing it just it will it'll come to me what it when it needs what it what it needs you don't think it's finished how do you know that it's not finished Tammy it looks gorgeous this piece both of them uh, I guess you know it's funny because I got asked that a couple times and there just comes this sense where you look at it and you say yeah that's it that's that's it it's done and I think that's why artists should sell their work because, and get rid of it or give it away. Because if you keep a piece for too long, you just keep messing with it. <laughs> you just got to go, let it go. Yeah, you keep changing it. It's like the other day I pulled one off the wall and I was like, I thought of some things this one needs. So I do uh, the exact same thing. But those, yeah, two, so, those two right there just look absolutely beautiful. But, you know, I love the brilliant colors that you've got going in there. And I love flowers. And so... Yeah, this is one that um, these are little minis. And I, when I posted these, um, you had commented on these about how, oh, I love those flowers. So, yeah, so all different sizes. Yeah, absolutely. But, so are you going to work on so, anything for us today? I am. So if you remember, you had that difficult job at boot camp of having to judge the fashion show. That was brutal. I know. Yours well, was fabulous. What you painted, I, girl was fabulous. You guys, she had a kimono on, a beautiful kimono. I don't know what fabric it was made out of, but you hand painted with DIY paint on it. And it was did. stunning. Right. So I love to paint fabric. So that was my first attempt at trying the DIY paint on fabric. And because the pigment in it is so high, it's almost like a dye when you water it down. So um, what I decided is that I am going to paint, um, or at least start us off. This is a pillow that I did, and I'm with our DIY paint. That's DIY so I, paint? This is, yes. It's so pretty. Yes. Wow. So, um, so we're gonna work on at least starting this here. So these pillows I have, um, pre-made. I have uh, somebody who makes them. I have an upholsterer who does stuff for the shop and he makes those pillow forms for me. But you can get, um, 
I believe Hobby Lobby has just plain pillow, you know, forms that you can stick a, a pillow inside of yeah. and you could definitely use that. Um, sometimes, like this is one that I did, it's a piece of fabric that I did and then that can be turned into a pillow. Right, right. You can paint, so you put yeah. on the fabric, you can turn it into the pillow by sewing it, put right. a pretty back and you could put like a blue velvet on the back. You could put a pink, you could, a pink, of yeah. you could do oh. anything. A blue velvet would be beautiful on this, but yeah. So this is that silk, more like that kimono that I painted, but yes, that's this, that. So you can do it either way, on the pillow form or on a piece of fabric and turn it into. I love it. So, so this is just a blank pillow form here. Let's okay, and so we're, we're gonna watch you get started. You go, girl. All right, <laughs> so at this, this is the kind of part where people, are, and I understand that because I've stared at a canvas for a long time trying to figure out what to do. Um, if you're nervous about just heading to it, you can always trace something out. If you, you know, a design that you like, print out a piece of um, clip art and use that or anything. Okay. Um, I tend to like a very free flowing as if you can't tell. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> organic look. So um, this is a Sharpie. It's called Stained by Sharpie. Okay. Um, it's actually a fabric Sharpie, but you can use a regular Sharpie. Okay. And if you didn't want any lines at all, you could just use chalk and it would just go away. Okay. So basically okay. draw out a floral. I'm going to draw out my outline. So my first tip to anybody who wants to get really loose and florally is to hold your brush or your pen at the very end. So when you're up here, it's really tight, but when you're back here, you can create really loose flowers. So I'll just come in here and I'll just like, it looks like what the heck is she doing? Oh, yes, girl. Uh, Melissa says, girl, you better rub some of that talent off on her pretty please. I did. She's doing great stuff. I'm so proud of Melissa. She has come back. She's doing classes and Melissa, um, good job, sis. Yeah. So there you go. Beautiful. There's my very, very loose flowers. Those so are the way I like them. Yeah. Yeah. So after we get that on there, and this is permanent. We'll just come in and use our spray bottle okay. and get the fabric wet. Because we want our fabric to really bleed and create that really um, blended look, yeah. we want it to be fairly wet. Um, now, if you don't like all of that bleeding and you want it to be a little more precise, like the pumpkins that I did, yeah. then that's fine. So. so what kind of fabric did you say this is, Tammy? This is a linen, an, um, a linen blend, so yeah. But you can, and actually the paints work best on a light, when you're doing it this way, really watered down. Okay. But if you wanted to do them on a darker fabric, I just add a fabric medium to them. And a fabric medium, you buy at a craft store and it keeps your um, paints flexible so they don't get hard and crusty. You're so smart, so, Amy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our gypsy green. Okay. And I'm just gonna come in here and again, the end of my brush, lots of water. We use a lot of water. A lot of water. Actually. And you're holding it on the tip so it's more fluid that way. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And some people feel like they don't have enough control and that's the idea. So we're just come in here and really um, just putting in a couple of little leaves here. Okay but they're not perfect leaves and that's the idea. Okay. Um, and I don't have any, I will tell you, like you can add a ratio of water. I don't know what it is because all I do is I put the paint inside the cap okay. and I add water to it. I um, don't measure not, anything. Do you measure things? Nothing. No. And I'm a very um, sloppy painter. I don't, you know, I'm not somebody who, um, has a very neat palette or it's like there's paint everywhere um and i like it that way so it's fine all right so that is the gypsy green and then i'm just going to highlight with our mint chip i love those two together too so you put the mint chip on the leaf as well with those yes that's the yep. way i do it too yep so it's just a highlight here I think mint chip is one of the greatest colors. It's um, it's right underneath bohemian blue with me. It's right up there in rankings. Well, because I'm a pink girl, you know, oh. bohemian blue and kissing booth are kind of my yes, my jam. But I love to use um, uh, the mint chip as a highlight for anything. Me too. Know? 
All right. So Monica says you make it look so easy. And um, Melissa says she loves this girl. And <laughs> um, Shelly sweet. says we love our Tammy and you're incredibly humble. Aw, that's my girls there. I know. It's so, right, I'm so, so glad they came on here today and they took time out to oh. join us. Me too. Like you said it though, once you have your tribe, you just, you know, are tried and true. I think so too. We've got to keep supporting one another and, and lifting one another up because we know in this business, being creatives, we have our bad times where we're kind of like, we self doubt and we go through criticism. Yep. We may get one bad comment that can't just, we just can't seem to shake it. But once, right. we, once we hang out with our girls, even if it's online, it really helps us get through that. That is so true. So true. And sometimes when you're a creative, especially um, if you do a lot of work, you know, by yourself in your house, painting and whatnot, you can feel a little isolated. And I think that was one of the things that, Absolutely. you know, when you have a bunch of girls that are, so I'm just going around my flowers okay. with our bohemian blue. Okay. So you're outlining that, them a little bit. Yeah. It just creates a background. So um, in, in anything, um, dark makes objects recess and light makes them come forward. A little art lesson there, huh? Okay. Um, that's about as much as I have in art. Um, oh, you've got as far as a lesson goes. <laughs> <laughs> but so the so what that does is then doing the dark around the flowers is going to make the flowers come forward and the dark is behind. Does that make sense? Yes. Did I explain? It well? Oh, absolutely. You made the. You made the flowers totally stand out right there and you haven't even painted them yet. So it's beautiful. Right. Thanks. So I like, you know, I love a lot of color. That's my thing. But if you don't, you know, you can do these flowers in the whites, any of the whites and then a little bit of um, grays. They look really pretty on this natural linen done in those natural colors, you know? Oh, sure. Yeah. But you can see that there's no, um, there's actually like no technique really. I mean, you can use this, um, you just want to make sure your paint is really watery. That's, that's the whole thing is you want to have very, very. Okay. And that's so paint. it saturates down into the fibers, right? And really yep, it's like, it's, like it's, a dye. Exactly. I was going to say it's less like a paint and more like a dye. So this is our carnival red. So I'll put, that's a little dark. So I'll just thin it out with this paint. I mean, with this water. Yes. So I'll just come in and create that edge and so thin that out. They're asking how you seal these once you're finished. Okay, so because this is not a garment that we're gonna wear, mm -hmm. um, we didn't have to use any fabric medium in there. So we'll just heat seal it. When we're done, we will seal this with an iron. Now, if your fabrics are too delicate, like some of the silks that I do, uh -huh. I use a blow dryer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so I mean, once I'm a dummy, you're going to literally blow the heat right on it or on the back side, or does it matter? I do both. Do I'll both. go on the top and then I open it up and I put the blow dryer underneath of it. Okay. Yep. Yep. So. So I'm just using the carnival red because that's our darkest color. Yeah. And I'm doing the outer. You're doing the outer red, like of each petal. And, yeah, and maybe not every, but close. Yeah, just hitting it. And this one, I'm going to have it be lighter. So I'm not going to add as much of the red to it. And then I'm going to come in here with our cowgirl. Pearl. Yes, Tonda. Um, this is Tammy Rudisil, and she is one of our DIY retailers. And... Um, she is using DIY paint right now. She's drawn out her um, with a Sharpie and or like her outline. And then she's used Gypsy Green, Bohemian Blue, and um, that was Carnival Red. And now it looks like she's got Cowgirl Coral. Exactly. Yep. And you know, sometimes when I'm painting, I forget to talk. So if I need to say anything, holler at me. Oh, out. honey, you're watching. <laughs> we are just enjoying this so much. Trust me. So I know that, like I said, I know that this is loose and that's my style, but you absolutely can use the same technique to create, you know, any type of design. These are, I do them seasonally. Um, the pumpkin pillows were a big hit. Yes. Um, I, will, 
I will do some for Christmas. I'll do some pillows for um, the holiday season. Um, so now I have um, some queen bee here that I'm going to come in and just do our centers. How can they find you on YouTube now, Tammy? So it's Tammy Rudisil Studio, and that's also uh, my Instagram and Facebook for my artwork, and then my YouTube channel, um, which I just have my two on there, but both pumpkin related, that's but we'll funny. go into this. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> um, so yeah, that's Tammy Rudisil Studio. So I can, I can put this on YouTube if you want, and I can put in the comment section a link to your YouTube. Perfect. That would be great. Sure. Thanks. So now, um, so now I'm using the um, Bohemian Blue in the center just to create that same type of contrast that we did on the outside. Wonderful. So, and if I really want um, it to get a little more saturated, I can spray the fabric. Inside of here, I just have a board covered in plastic. Okay. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And now I'll go to my, my jam, okay. which will be kissing booth. Yes, girl. So you're dipping your brush in and out of the water to keep it very yeah. saturated so it doesn't dry and, out on you because if it stays really liquidy, then you can still move it around and put it, and it kind of bleeds into each other, right? Yep. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you. So this is actually paint that I put on here. And now this is just straight up water. I'll dilute it with that. Okay. And then that, and just pull that color around so it's going to be more concentrated here and then blend into this area here where it's faded in. Yes. And then I just love this color. Oh. I do too. And when you did that buffet the other day, I was like, be still my heart. That girl just hit it with that pink. <laughs> I loved it so much. And, you know, it's uh, it's a huge buffet. And, of course, it's in here in my staging room. And I'm thinking, this sucker better sell soon because it's such a beat to try to move. <laughs> it's so hard to move. But I'm like, come on. Hopefully it'll sell soon. But um, it did. I'm, I'm really happy with it. It really, it, it just, I love that color. I don't know what it is, man. It is so brilliant. I love it. And it's that color that's on your wall behind you, right by your pretty face. I love it. it. Well, yeah. It is, yes. And those, and um, you know, when I went to boot camp, it's the first time I used those IOD molds. Yeah. Um, and the, the stamps. I met the sisters there. Yes. And I love the way that you put them on there and distress them. And great job. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So, guys, if you're just now popping on here, this is Tammy Rudisills. She is um, in Winston Salem, North Carolina, and the shop is Elizabeth's at Haynes. Park. She is a furniture artist, a DIY retailer. She is also a, I don't know if you call yourself a fine artist. I don't know. Uh, just an artist in general. I don't, you know, well, I think I'm fine, but you know. Oh yeah, you fine girl. You fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys give her hearts and, and lots of love and please share her video. Uh, this video as well. I will go ahead and put it on my YouTube channel because she's given me permission and I'll go ahead and link her YouTube channel. But we want to make sure um, as us upcoming artists are that you're supporting because we're all in the same boat. We're all want to support each other and love one another and um, just really encourage. So give her the hearts, give her the likes today, give her the shares. And when we're off of this, she'll come back in this thread on this live and she will put her Facebook page and any other link that you want to share with us, Tammy, um, she's okay. also getting ready to put some of her canvas art into a studio there where she is, a physical studio. So um, she's outstanding. She has a generous heart. She's willing to teach us all how to do fabulous pumpkins and flowers and everything else. So we want to give yeah. that love right back to her. Sweetie and I, thank you so much thank for you. taking your day to come on yeah. here right in the middle of your afternoon. That is so beautiful. I can't wait to see this finished. I am so excited. So um, are we running out of time? Shall we, shall I finish up on the, on a YouTube channel for you guys or how are we with time? Um, I have to get going here, okay. but what I would love more than anything is for you to finish this up on your YouTube channel.
Okay, so what I'll do is I will actually give us better directions. I will go ahead and do a video where we will finish this whole pillow because as you can see, we're getting there. But, and but I did want to point out, this looks kind of muddy, but when it dries, you can see that all those colors just really pop out. You know what? That is so beautiful what you've got right there. But even the one you're working on right now, it already looks just so pretty because it's my style. Like I love the way the colors right. bleed together and such. Yeah. And you could stop here. This could be, you know, it just added. But I do have to show you. I have like one signature thing I always Please do. Please do. Show me. Okay. It's the splatter. Oh, yes, girl. You know, I'm a splatter. <laughs> Get the splatter action going on. Now, did you dip your brush in the water with a little bit of paint? I did. Actually, I have this can of Bohemian Blue that's got like nothing in it and water down a lot. So that's what I used. But yeah, so that's what I would do. Mm -hmm. And I always, always do the splatters on these fabric things because it just looks so great when it bleeds all over. Do you do them on your pumpkins too? I do. Yeah, I yep. figured you did. <laughs> you'll, you'll see that if you watch the pumpkin video. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to because what I'll do is I'll get this uploaded and then I'll post it on YouTube because you said I could um, on my page. But then I'll put to see more of Tammy's work and then I'll grab your YouTube channel and put it down there in the description, okay? All right. Well, thanks so much. Absolutely. So grab your Facebook link, grab your YouTube link, and put it all in this thread for all the people that need to watch the replay too, okay? I will. And then I will do a, a start to finish with better instructions on YouTube for everybody. Oh my gosh. I think everybody would love that. That gives everyone something to look forward to. Brilliant idea. All right. Thank you, Tammy. I yeah, appreciate you so much. So you nailed, it like, four, a, you nailed it like a hammer, sister. Four lives down. And now I only have how many more to go? How many are you at? Oh, who knows? <laughs> Three years later, who cares? <laughs> you did great. You're great. You're I a really great teacher, too. I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. You're very welcome, Tammy. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye, sweetheart. All right. Bye-bye. Awesome. That was Tammy Rudisell, Elizabeth's at Haynes Park. She's in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Um, give her hearts right now. I want to see those hearts splashing all over. I see that Liesl's doing it. Um, super fun. She's going to finish up that pillow on her YouTube video. She's also going to do a start to finish on a video on her YouTube channel. Um, so like her pages, um, you know, she's willing to share and show. And so we want to make sure we give back our love and encouragement. So she continues to do so, right? If you give and you say positive things and she's like, okay, I'll share. But if you be ugly and you don't, then she won't want to share, right? It's a, it's a win-win. It's a win-win, guys. Um, that was Tammy Rudisell. Tomorrow, I have Sue Mann. Sue Mann from Alaska. Sue Mann from Alaska. She's another one of our DIY retailers. I don't have the time yet. I don't have it written down in my book of all these names. Um, so I'm going to message her. Um, Michelle says, are you okay, Dion? I don't know what you mean. I don't know. What do you mean, Michelle? I'm super duper. Um, we had some technical issues at the beginning. So for those of you that stuck it out and got through those first few moments, thank you. Um, we're trying to figure out what all that echoing is about. If those of you are on here and you, um, am I getting a cold? Um, it's just constant allergies here in Oklahoma City, Michelle. Always, always. Um, I think um, what you need to do is if this happens with you guys, because several of you people that do lives, y'all were mentioning it happening, um, turn your volume all the way down, turn your volume all the way back up. I don't know. And we both did that. Tammy and I both did that, and the echo went away. I have no idea if that's what helped, but it eventually went away so we were able to have a nice conversation you guys thank you so much i'll be back tomorrow um with sue man and we'll see what she's going got what she has going on in alaska you guys have an awesome day